Hello, I'm Jeff Hoffman from Pep Boys Auto. Today I'm going to demonstrate the install of replacement towing mirrors on a 2008 GMC Sierra SLE. Beefy extendable tow mirrors like this are a popular upgrade to full-size pickups and SUVs. They offer superior wide-angle views, crucial when towing, and add an unmistakably aggressive style. First, the tools for the job. You're going to need non-marring pry bars, or something similar. You'll need two flathead screwdrivers, one small, one large, needle nose pliers, and for this vehicle, a metric socket set. We'll be using the 10 millimeter. Pep Boys has everything you'll need to complete this job. The following install is the same on most 2007 to current new body style, full size GM pickups and SUVs. This particular truck is equipped OE with the standard power heated sail mirrors. Note, heated mirrors are standard on models with rear window defrost and activated with the defrost button on the dash. On 2007 and up GM trucks, you'll first need to remove the interior sail panel. Do so by firmly grasping the panel, pulling straight out. The panel is held in place by the factory clips. You'll see a foam sound insulator. We'll remove this in a few moments. Behind this insulator are three nuts that hold the mirror in place, two of which are inaccessible necessitating the removal of the door panel. The next step is to remove the door lock knob. Do so by using your small screwdriver. Gently pry up on the small tab which releases the knob from the underlying rod, then just pull the knob up and off. The handle cover panel is next. Remove this by placing your small screwdriver into the slot on the underside of the cover. Twist and gently pull outward and work your way to the top. Next, remove the access panel behind the door handle, granting you access to two of the bolts that hold the interior panel on. Then remove the small panel behind the pull handle, revealing another bolt. To remove the pull handle, use your small screwdriver to pry down on the spring-loaded clip on the underside of the handle. Pull straight out. Now we'll remove bolts 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We'll use a ratchet with a 10 millimeter socket. After removal of bolts 1 and 2, the forward handle comes right off. Now we'll remove the lower bolt number 3 near the pull handle. Then the two bolts number 4 and number 5 behind the molded handle. The next step is to remove the switch assembly. Using a non-marring pry wedge or similar tool, gently pry up and work your way across the assembly, freeing it from the door panel. Note the wire running from the mirror to the switch panel. This controls the power mirror, heating element, and turn signal. Simply pry away the connector and unplug the mirror from the door harness by gently depressing the lock tab. The next step is to remove the interior door panel. Using your non-marring pry wedge, start at the bottom corner and work your way around. Push the wedge between the panel and the inner door. You'll hear popping sounds as the clips release. Now that the clips are free, lift up and out on the door panel to remove. Since we're not disconnecting all of the wiring, rest the panel on the two long alignment tabs on the bottom of the panel. You'll see the loose mirror harness that you disconnected a few steps ago. Follow this towards the mirror, noting the three pressing clips used to hold the wire in place. To pull the clips out, use a pair of needle nose pliers. Don't fret if you break these clips. The tow mirrors come with new clips. If you do break the clips, just make sure to pull out the stubs so they don't fall into the door and rattle later. Now, remove the foam insulator and reveal the three mounting nuts that secure the mirror in place. Using the 10 millimeter socket and ratchet, remove the three nuts. The mirrors have clips in place, so don't worry about it falling off while you remove the nuts. With a large flathead screwdriver, push or pry the clip at the top of the mirror to release it from the door. Remove the old mirror and pull out the wiring harness. To install the new mirror, fish the wiring harness through the hole in the sail panel. Line up the bolts and put the top nut in place. Put the remaining two nuts in place and torque the mirror down, being careful not to over tighten. Press in the harness clips and run the wire back through its original route to the switch assembly. Reconnect the harness. Before reassembling the door panel, this is a great time to make sure the mirrors function properly. Do so by starting the truck adjusting it left, right, up, and down. Then hit the turn signals. On this truck, to check the heat function, turn on the defrost, wait a moment, then feel the glass. You'll notice it's warm to the touch. Once you verify that everything works, reverse your steps to reinstall the interior panel. Put the foam insulator back in place. A trick to make sure that your bolts line up later is to tape the nut clips in place. The top of the interior panel will need to be pulled over the inner panel. Make sure the lock rod is pushed through the interior panel. With the clips lined up, palm the door panel back into place. Reattach the mirror harness retainer into the door panel. 
Put the switch panel back into place, making sure not to pinch any wires in the process. Put the forward handle back on with the two mounting bolts. Hand tighten the bolts to make sure you allow yourself wiggle room to line up all the mounting bolts. Reinstall the wing panel. Reinstall the forward handle cover. Reinstall the two bolt covers. Press on the pull handle. Last step. Slide the door lock knob back over the lock rod and press in the clip. Thank you for viewing this install demo. If you need additional guidance on this or any other automotive need, see your local Pep Boys professional. We're always happy to help, or we can do it for you. For more helpful hints and tips, go to PepBoys.com.